another God can be already. This is Peter Muntu, a 22 year old resident of Kawempe who is struggling to make ends meet because of his albinism condition. Mutu reveals that his family rejected him right from birth. Also, I never grew up with her because she produced me. By the time she produced, she gave birth to me. She was a teenager. So she was a teenager. So by that age, I know, actually, I, I didn't grow up with her. She used to move her own life. She, she lived her own life. I also lived my own life because she left me with some of the grandparents just like many other persons living with albinism who continue being discriminated against mutu is not exceptional the reason he dropped out of school the problem i had is when they had given up on me i started to live my own life i started to live my own life i started looking for some some uh, fees for myself of which it was hard because I was almost a parent to myself I had to look for food I had this time to, I had to study and I had to look for food for what to eat so things were not good Muntu has also had his own share of skin complications associated with having no melanin a solution that gives human skin its color I'm just short-sighted so I need some things like glasses and also to check me up because actually these days it is somehow beyond than in previous years. Mulondwe Hassan, an albinism rights activist, reveals the rationale of the stigmatization that persons living with albinism have had to deal with. When you look at the Buganda culture, if a family gives birth to a, to a child with albinism, or Mulongo, which means they associate with it, with it. So when you go to other cultures, for example, when I visited the people of West Nilo, they told me that for a family to have a child with albinism, that is a curse. Despite the challenges, Muntu has found solace in his cousin, who has since become a guardian of the sorts. Because I'm with Peter, but Peter is not asking for any help from any other relative. I'm staying with this boy, but Peter has never said, call so and so for help, no. God always makes a way for his survival every day. So uh, I don't know, but I my like <laughs> in my own view, I'm to continue with Peter. Yahweh. Amid his all his grief, however, Muntu has sought comfort in his music. We bow down and worship. A skin condition that requires extra care. In as far as treatment and products like sunscreen is concerned, albinos also have to go through stigmatization and discrimination from the public. Teddy Janet Kavasambu, NBS, your story.